Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol. To those who don't know yet, fight has been officially announced now. Canelo has announced the fight to take place on the 7th of May, May 7, 2022, Cinco de Mayo weekend for the WBA light heavyweight title which Dimitri Vival will be defending in this fight. Canelo is moving up in weight once again to 175 pounds. He did it before when he fought Kovalev, knocked out Kovalev to win the WBO title, vacated it right away and he be went back to 168 to become the undisputed champion at 168 and now here he is at 175 fighting the WBA champion Bivol. When they announced this fight, they didn't announce a venue. They didn't announce a venue. It was previously reported that it was likely to take place over in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. But now, apparently, according to Michael Benson, who writes for TalkSport.com, he recently tweeted this out, saying, and I quote, it reads, Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol reportedly could now take place in Dubai, UAE, on May 7th, according to ESPN Mexico. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Canelo Bivol in the UAE, in the Middle East? Shit. Why not? It's not like I'm going to be there live in person. And plus, you have to pay for freaking pay-per-view now. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind it being in, in the UAE. Uh, obviously, th there's a question of what time this event will be on for stateside. It's going to be prime time stateside because it is going to be pay-per-view here in the States. So they're probably going to have it like in the afternoon over in the UAE. Actually, I don't know what time is it. Like what's the time difference in the UAE? Because when when uh, Joshua fought in the UAE, I mean not UAE, Saudi Arabia uh, against uh, um, Andy Ruiz Jr. If I remember correctly, I didn't have any problems watching that fight. So I mean, I wouldn't have problems watching this fight. I guess it just has to be, they have, it has to be prime time here in the States. It has to be because it's, it's, it's pay-per-view here in the States. And, um, and yeah, it's going to be a neutral venue. So, you know, like Batman Boxing said, neutral corner. I like it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a neutral venue. Canelo from Mexico, Bivol from Russia. I mean, the Canelo has always been fighting here in the States. It will be his first time fighting in the Middle East. Uh, Eddie Reynoso has mentioned about a world tour for Canelo uh, before that. He, you know, he plans to do like a world tour for him, fighting around the world. So I guess this is it. I guess this is the world tour that's going to happen. He will fight Bivol in the UAE. Uh, I won't be surprised if Leota Murata, if Leota Murata beats Triple G in April. Or whenever they fight, don't be surprised if Canelo fights Murata in Japan. Don't be surprised, and don't be surprised for his Sev December fight, he ends up fighting either in his home country of Mexico or in the UK. So it, it's looking like it's going to be a world tour for Canelo, uh, this next coming fights. But who knows? I mean, they're going to follow the money. After all, they're paying Canelo 160, a guaranteed $160 million for the next three fights. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. $160 million for three fights is a lot of money. So they somehow have to, you know, try to get the funds to pay Canelo that amount of money. And the, the UAE has that type of money with their oil, oil money. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this fight were to take place in the UAE. Um, obviously... People would have to travel to the UAE to watch this fight. Um, man, I wonder how the support will be. I wonder how many dedicated Canelo fans would travel to the UAE to uh, support Canelo. Mexican fight fans, Mexican-American fight fans, uh, you know, Can Canelo fans in general. And Bivol fans, Russians. Um, <laughs> uh, who knows? Well, you know... I don't, obviously, the crowd is going to be all supporting Canelo, most likely. If I remember correctly, the Joshua fight against Ruiz, you know, the crowd wasn't that lively compared to when Joshua fights in the UK. So, and Mexican fans are, set, uh, you know, one of the best fans when it comes to boxing. So, um, if they fight in the UAE, it wouldn't be that loud as it were if it, if it were to take place here in the US. Anyway, 
I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.